All right, so the goal of this lecture today is I will teach you how to rapidly grow at anything, as I've done that myself. I will not teach anything in this entire intellectualism. Actually, this is one of our promises to not teach anything that we've not implemented because that's just imposter syndrome. We fucking hate that shit. We don't like those gurus online. Fucking, oh, this is the five tips. They're literally teaching you how to make money, but how they make money is through teaching you how to make money, which is fucking nonsense. Well, you can trust us. We give everything, literally everything, all the implementation, and we only sell the personalization, as you already know. We only sell how to... You know, all the game plans and stuff like that. Unlike other YouTubers where they give you the gems, all this bullshit. But hey, if you want to know how to imp implement all this bullshit, you have to drop my course. None of that over here. So what I'm going to be talking about is basically the process, three processes. And I'll go more into depth of what they mean in the latest slides. So the first step is to identify the constraint. The second one is to define the activities to alleviate the constraint. And the final step is ruthless focus on the one thing. I'll break them down in extreme details in the coming slides. I did a really cool drawing for you guys. I rarely ever do something like this, but this is really cool, right? So section one, we're gonna first talk about what even is the constraint. You are here right now. Section two, as I've mentioned, identifying the constraint. Section three, define the activities. Section four is to ruthless focus on that one thing. And section five is a question mark. You have to stay to the end to find out. So let me give you a quick story to prove why I'm legit, right? So during this time, I think this is about the end of December 2023, I've decided to really go all in in this entire framework that I've be I'm basically going to teach you right now for completely free. I've decided to really go all in on this whole thing. And as you can see, in less than a month, I've gained 16.2 thousand views and 222 subscribers. This is no luck, no algorithm picking us up or any of that shit. It's all strategy and it's all hard work. And during this time, we finally made our first sale. And keep in mind, we've been doing business for, I think what, roughly four years now? We've been trying to get mm. our first sale for fucking four years and we managed to secure it in just less than a month. That's just to show that this thing is fucking crazy. And if you're just starting out your whole self-improvement entrepreneur journey, this is this is a fucking gold mine. And I'm giving it all out for free. Because I don't sell that shit. I don't do that shit. <laughs> fucking Lucas Watts. Anyways, what is the con what even is the constraint? This is what you might be wondering to yourself right now. Well, let me tell you. It's the single point of a system where if alleviated was lead to the most growth. TLDR or also known as the bottleneck, the obstacle holding you back from achieving your goal. And notice that I didn't say obstacles with an S, a plural. I said obstacle because it's only one thing. As I mentioned in the previous point, the single point of a system where if alleviated will lead to the most growth. It's not all these fucking problems, it's just one thing. So solving any problem besides the constraint will be insignificant, it won't do shit, right? So let me explain what that actually means. Sure. You will grow if you focus on the other obstacles. I'm not saying you can't because in life we have multiple problems and you can go solve the rest, but you will not grow as fast as you could be. You can literally see here, this is your perceived limit. You may think that you're growing at a fucking like 100%, like, oh, I'm growing the fastest, but you're actually only at 40%, bro. <laughs> you're not even close. Your actual limit is literally 60% more. And a system will simply grow to its next constraint. It's never ending. Once you solve the constraint, another constraint will appear and this will keep going until you fucking die, right? And right now, there is one thing. There is that dark shadow in the corner that you're just in the party right now and then there's, there's this dark dude at the fucking corner just looking at you, demon eyes, red eyes, and you can't even fucking see him but his teeth. Literally a scary fucking monster in this corner right now. There is one thing holding you back from achieving your goal and I'll teach you how to find that fucking monster and slay it. So keep watching. <laughs> Anyways, let me give you an example to simplify my point. Enter the water hose analogy. So most people solve problems like this. Imagine you have a water hose, right? You're in a fucking garden, you're trying to water your plants and you have a knot in the water hose. And what most people do is they increase the volume leaving the tight knot because it's simply easier, right? Instead of going, squatting down, untying the knot, they just simply increase the water pressure because why not, right? You increase the water output. Yes, the water does increase, but not much. And remember this point as it will make sense later. And I'll break this down using an example to simplify my point even further. So example number one, you want to rapidly improve your life quality because the truth is we exist in this earth for only one reason and that is to get the most out of our lives. We only live once, so get the most out of it. Extract the best and basically live the best life you can and you do that through improving your life quality. 
So this is most people. You've been on some improvement for a while. You've improved your life. You started meditating, improving your mental health, but you're still broke. So what do most people do to rapidly improve their life quality in that situation? They pick up new hobbies. They put on more muscle. They buy new clothes. And keep in mind, like the water hose, yes, there will be water coming up, but not much. You're quality improves by five to ten percent but you're still in pain you still live extremely frugally you still have to go to the cheap gym when you're eating out with friends you have to bring your own water you have to bring your own meal you're still in pain which causes 80 to 90 percent of your struggles the constraint is money you're broke it's not that you have not much muscle dude adding more muscles buying new clothes is not gonna do shit the demon in the fucking corner is still looking at you and that's money Yes, it's something that you don't want to do. No one wants to do it. It's difficult to make money, but you have to get rid of that fucking guy looking at you with red eyes. You have to do it. The constraint is money. You're broke. So unless you resolve the constraint, you can keep fucking around. Unless you resolve the constraint, your life will not significantly improve. Yes, you will build more muscle. You you get more clothes and stuff, but how much can you go? How much clothes can you buy? How much muscle can you build? You still need to buy food. You still need to do all this shit. How are you going to buy new clothes when you don't have money? Eventually, all the problems will be solved and... It's just going to be you standing in that room and that fucking demon looking at you with his teeth grinning and red eyes just looking at you waiting for yourself to solve it. And by the time you actually solve it, most people don't actually survive. They're actually dead by then. So recall the previous points that I mentioned about the water hose. Unless you untie the fucking knot, the water just will not fucking... The water, the, you will just not get as much water as you could be getting. So let me tell you how the 1% Sigma Alpha Male Andrew Tate solves the problem. They first walk over to the knot and they untie the knot and then they only increase the volume. It takes much more time because you have to walk over there, you have to squat and maybe it's fucking raining or some shit, you have to go fucking untie that shit. It takes time but you significantly increase the water output. It takes much more effort and it's much harder. Think delayed gratification, right? Instead of fucking staying there, being lazy to turn off the water pressure, you just go and fucking do the delayed gratification. And actually, get in the rain, get wet a little bit and just untie the knot. And I'll break this down using an example as usual to simplify my point even further. So same guy, been on some improvement for a while, improve your life but you're still broke. So what does the 1% do in this situation? They first, instead of fucking getting more clothes, building more muscles, they first earn a good stream of income. They go look at that guy in the fucking corner and they go and kill that fucking guy. And then they pick up the new hobbies, put on more muscles and buy new clothes. This way, your life quality improves 80 to 90%. Your pain decreases by 5 to 10%. Because let's be real, we are humans at the end of the day. Pain still comes, problems still arises. It's just you have lesser and more easier problems. So this is basically what you are doing right now. You're just fucking solving a million fucking problems. You're solving all fucking problems besides that one fucking problem, right? So this is how it looks like. Your, your life increases like 2%, 15%, 1%, just little tiny peanut margins, literally chipmunk fucking margins. Whereas if you start fucking focusing on that demon, the demon that matters, you push all the problems aside, you ignore all the problems, but you focus on that one demon and slaying that demon constantly. This way, your life improves 80, 82%, 90%, just at a large higher margin. And look, compared to this guy and compared to this guy, who's going to reach that goals faster? Of course, it's going to be this guy because he's moving the needle and he's getting there much more faster. And that's how you rapidly grow at something. You don't rapidly grow at trying to solve more problems. You rapidly grow by solving the problems that you need to fucking solve. So now that we've covered section one, let's talk about section two, which is to identify the constraint. So identifying the constraint, you may already know what your constraint is. That fucking guy in the corner, many of us already know what we have to do, but it's just too fucking difficult, right? The thing you've been avoiding, nobody but you know at the back of your head. You're fucking partying, you know, you're doing all this shit, but you know at the back of your head, you need to do that one thing. You know, many of you may already know it's difficult and that's why no one does it. And this is a question I like to put out there. Why do you think there's very little successful people you know why when you're walking around in the streets with your girl with your boys or whatever why don't you see everyone with a chiseled jawline a six-pack driving a fucking lambo or whatever why do you not see the whole world like that why do you still see fat people why do you still see people who are unsatisfied at doom scrolling why do you still see all that because they don't want to do the fucking hard work but you have to do it because anything else will not move the needle remember the water hose analogy if you keep turning the water temperature how much can you turn up bro the water won't increase. There's going to be a certain limit where you can't turn the water temperature anymore. You have to fucking walk over and untie the knot. Eventually, you're going to have to solve it, bro. Whether you like it or not. And let me show you how I define the constraint, how you can too. So let me talk about the IDRR framework. And this is actually Junta's favorite slide. And probably my favorite yeah. one as well as I put in a lot of effort. So the first step is to, as I've shown over there, identify the goal. 
ask yourself, what is the priority, the current mission, more of that inside the actual program. Step number two, define the obstacle, define the direct obstacle standing between you and the goal, the direct obstacle, not the obstacles, as I mentioned earlier. Ask, why have I not achieved X? And step number three, resolve the obstacle. Resolve and answer the previous point because of why. Step number four, you simply just repeat. Repeat by solving and answering the previous point until you simply can't. That is your constraint. So let me give you an example, right? Why am I not popular at school, right? Why am I not popular at school? Well, it's because I don't socialize. Why do I not socialize? It's because I don't know how to. And when you start going down the problems, this is an example, by the way, but when you start going down these fucking examples, you start to get to a point where you're like, I can't solve this any further. As I mentioned in step number four, you keep solving the problems until you literally can't. And that's your constraint. So the constraint for this guy, why am I not popular at school? is because I don't know how to socialize. So that's your constraint. You start focusing on socializing. And then as I mentioned earlier, a system will grow to its next constraint. That's when you figure out, okay, now that I know how to talk, why am I not popular? Oh, it's because I can't hold eye contact. You start focusing on body language, etc. So now that we've covered section number two, which is to identify the constraint, let's talk about section number three, which is to define the activities to alleviate the constraint, right? It's simple. What do you have to do to remove the constraints? List them based on importance, based on leverage and return on investment. And the example constraint is you don't have people watching your channel. So what are the activities that I have to do in order for people to start watching me? Well, I've listed this all out for you guys already, right? Upload videos. Get more experience, read, talk to people, live life, improve my speaking skills, learn storytelling, joking skills, leadership. These are some things that you have to do in order for people to start watching you because that's how YouTube works. So what I'll do after this is to basically rank them and list them based on their importance. All right, so I'm going to be looking at this list and I'm going to be asking myself, what is the most important thing? What is the one thing that's going to move the needle? And of course, at the top of the list, it's going to be uploading more videos. Second thing is going to be getting more experience. Third thing is going to be etc. etc. That's basically how you do it. Just identify the activities that you need to do and list them based on ROI, leverage, based on importance and start executing from the top. More on that later. So now that we've covered section number three, which is to define the activities to alleviate the constraint, let's talk about section four, which is my favorite. The ruthless focus on the one thing. So as I mentioned earlier, you want to work your way down and literally forget everything else. There's going to be a lot of bullshit problems like, oh, I need to fucking attend this thing. My friend's calling me, all this fucking nonsense. Ask them to all shut the fuck up. Recall the water hose analogy. They're all fucking noise. So you can literally, again, it's like you're in a fucking party. You can do everything else. But eventually, every problem is going to disappear and you're going to still have to face that guy in the corner. You're still going to have to face him. One problem at a time and 110% fucking energy. No multitasking bullshit. When you're solving one country, just focus on that one demon. That's it. Forget everyone else at the party. Focus on that one guy. That's it. And once the constraint is alleviated, once the fucking demon is killed, focus on the next constraint. Return back to step one, identify the next constraint. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, now let's, let, me, let me talk about different concept right now, which is bigger swings, fewer times. And let me break this down into two examples. Only one. <laughs> this is what Lucas Watts loves to say, which is my mentor. You want to solve lesser but bigger problems. And when you, and when you solve problems, you want to give 110% effort. All your chips in, leaving nothing in the tank. And what I mean by this is, you don't want to be that guy, as I mentioned earlier, trying to solve all these fucking problems and uh, one chip over there, one chip over there. No, no, no. Ignore all the problems and all your chips on one thing only. That's it. You're going to be that one guy that's known for just doing one thing. That's it. Leave the fucking one chip bullshit to society because that's what society preaches, right? They want you to be a fucking good kid. They want you to be an athlete. They want you to be a good father. They want you to be this, this, that. You need to be the guy that's great at everything. Fuck them. Fuck them. It's because why? Look at most people around you. They all look the same. If you do what everyone does, you're going to get the same results, right? So do what's exceptional as I've mentioned in the... What, what course is that? I think it was the... I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I, I talked about it in the... Ah, uh, what was that one? Oh, the mindset. Yeah, I talked about it in the mindset part. You guys should already know what this is, right? And... This is going to be a fucking nightmare. You can ask Junta. Junta is actually going through this nightmare right now when he's doing the addiction course. It's going to be a fucking nightmare because when you start killing that guy in the fucking corner, there's a reason why that guy's in the fucking corner. There's a reason why he's looking at you with red eyes and smiling, grinning. There's a reason why. 
It's because it's fucking difficult and it's going to be a nightmare. So expect it. And the pro tip is to 100 times that. Literally think of the worst fucking scenarios. Junta talked about this in his motivation lecture. Literally think about it as the worst fucking scenario. What's going to happen? The worst thing and then start. Because when you're actually there, when you're actually doing the hard work, you're already expecting it like, oh, that's going to be fucking terrible. But when you're doing it, you're going to be like, wait, this is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I can become a teenage wealthy guy. You're going to start thinking about all this stuff and you want to do that. Because when you expect it, it's not going to hit as hard as it should be, right? And it may be a nightmare, but know to yourself that you're destroying your competitors because your competition does not want to do this. Your competitor doesn't want to wake up and fucking solve that fucking demon in the corner. No one wants to do it. You think Junta wants to do the fucking addiction course and stuff? No one wants to do it. It's fucking difficult. But this is what you need to do in order to grow. And this is why, as I mentioned earlier, I literally asked the same question. Why is there not many successful people in this world? Because nobody wants to kill their demons time after time after time. They want to take a break. They want to solve easier problems, but you can't. If you want to rapidly grow, hey, he's looking at you. You know what I'm talking about. It's at the back of your head. You don't want to talk about it. It's too, it's too difficult, but bro, you have to do it. If you're watching this, you are an ambitious young man. You want to fucking destroy your competitors. You want to stand above everyone. You want to rise above everyone else. Then do the things that no one is going to fucking do. Kill your fucking demons. You're welcome. I've told you the fucking answer. And remember what I've said earlier. You want to be this guy solving fewer problems. But when you do go all in, you put 110% effort. You put all your chips in. You don't want to be this fucking chipmunk. Fucking oh, 10%, 2%. You don't want any of that shit. It's going to be hard. Junta can talk about this right now actually. Tell the audience how it feels like because I've been through this personally and it's fucking tough. But Junta can talk about it right now because he's going through it right now. So Junta, I would love to like hear your opinion on this and tell the audience how fucking difficult and how rewarding it feels. I swear to God, this 1.0, when we were doing this shit, things were pretty easy, not gonna lie, <laughs> compared to where I am now. Now it's literally, you do the same shit, literally the same shit, eight hours, you take a break, you come back, you look at the screen, you're like, oh, you again, huh? <laughs> and then you fucking like, oh, trees are starting to look a bit more interesting, huh, these days. Yeah. And then you look everywhere else, you're like, ooh. Okay, I wonder how long left, huh? You look at the timer. Oh, one hour and 59 minutes. Oh, only been one minute, huh? <laughs> and you just want to fucking kill yourself. But, you know, I sit down like what Jimmy said. You know, this is a nightmare that I'm willing to pay because I'm willing to become that healthy, I mean, not healthy, wealthy. The teenage young, wealthy guy. You know, the you teenage wealthy guy. I'm willing to pay the price. And that's why when I sit down, even though I'm like, you see me, I see you. But... I'm willing to sit down and pay the price and I can see the growth, you know, we've grown so fast, so much faster than Chipmunk at 1.0. You know, we're the, we're, we're the squirrel king, you know, we, we take lesser nuts and we take them properly, you know. <laughs> you see the bean now, we're like, ooh, you know, they're not like those ice age one where we're like, ooh, ooh, where's nuts, where's nuts, where's nuts? Yeah. It's, where's the nut? And then we take the nut. So yeah. It's harder. But it's so much more fulfilling and rewarding because we know we are fucking crushing our competitors. <laughs> Hamza, we're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because the truth is, yeah, your competitors doesn't want to do this. You don't want to do it. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to do it, but you can change after this because I did not want to do it for a long ass fucking time. Right? I was doing all the easy work, you know, oh, let me work on my morning routine. Let me optimize this. Stop doing shit. That guy, the, dude, he's looking at you. He's looking at you with his teeth. Is fucking sharp. Remember that. And now that we've covered the last section, let's talk about section five, the moment you've been waiting for, the bonus, right? So let me clear your doubts. This is basically the bonus, right? I'm gonna clear all your doubts right now. So two questions you may have is, what if I can't solve the constraint because it's out of my control? For example, sickness, genetics, etc. What if the constraint can't be solved right now? For example, school, family obligations, etc. I'm gonna clear them out right now. So the first one, what if I can't solve the constraint because it's out of my control? And the context is basically you're sick or you have any illness preventing you from pursuing pursuing your goals. I'll basically advise you to forget your goals and all in the constraint, which is your illness or sickness. And let me tell you a story. So there was basically this one time I was basically focusing on the constraint, right? And I got sick out of nowhere. I think I had some really shit sickness, right? I could have kept pushing on. I could have ignored the sickness and kept fucking grinding. But what I did instead is you can literally ask Junta. I literally deep work my fucking sleep. I would just force myself to sleep until sleeping got boring. 
You don't even hear that. People love to fucking sleep. But I say sleeping was boring. I was sleeping that much until it was fucking boring. That's what you need to do, bro. Because the truth is, yes, you can keep working on the goal. You can ignore your sickness, but you're going to recover much slower. And what's the point in that? Your work's going to be shittier. I had a friend in the past. He was sick and he just kept grinding. He didn't give a fuck. And it literally took him a month to fucking recover. And meanwhile... His work probably was shit because he was sick, bro. He had these headaches all the time. How the fuck are you going to work when you have headaches, bro? So, it's going to be tough, especially when you have an illness that is going to take a long time. For example, you may have like some severe injury and stuff like that, but bro, forget your goals. All in the constraints. If you have a broken arm or whatever, it's going to take forever. I need to do something. No, no, no. Focus on healing the arm. Literally focus on healing the arm. Do what you can. Do your uh, physiotherapy. Do anything you can because the truth is anything besides the constraints is useless. Remember the water knot. Remember the water holds the knot. Yes, you can turn up the water temperature, but how much can you turn up? How much can you turn up the pressure? You can't turn up much, bro. Eventually, you're going to have to solve. You're going to have to untie the knot, right? And the next one is you're basically genetically weak. You have missing limbs, you're short, etc. And that's basically a constraint. You want to basically find alternatives. And let me tell you a story to illustrate my point even further. So there was this one time I signed up to a mixed martial arts gym, right? Everyone there was twice my fucking size. Literally, you ask Junta, people that were actually twice my fucking size. They were fucking huge. <laughs> Five times. They were literally 100 kg and I was 40. I was 40 kg. This guy's 100 kg. That's a fucking huge difference. That's the reason why there's weight classes in fighting. It was basically ignored over there, right? And I was genetically much weaker than them. I had a much uh, smaller frame. I was, they were much more stockier. I was shorter and stuff like that. But I did not let that stop me. I instead learned these techniques to trip them, to basically take advantage of their weight and I started winning. And that's what you need to be doing. You need to start viewing that as a constraint rather than, oh, I can't do it and I can't do it. You can literally look at the disabled people's Olympic, right? There's still disabled people competing in the Olympic. Why? Because there was never a time where circumstances ever stopped a man from achieving his goals. You can remember that and take that to the grave with you. There's never been a time where a man did not pursue his dreams or goals because of some fucking issue. That's a fucking excuse. And as an ambitious man, you should not let that stop you. So that's basically a constraint. Find alternatives. There's always going to be alternatives. You can literally see countless of stories where there's this guy, he does not have legs. He has these robotic legs and he went into the NBA. This guy that he can't swim, he has like robotic arms or whatever. That's always solution. You cannot fucking quit, especially as an ambitious young man. So use that. That is your constraint. Find alternatives and work twice as hard. Harder than your competitors because you have to remember this last quote I like to mention. And that is lazy people. I mean, talented people are generally lazy. Why? Because they're talented. They don't have to do much. And that's why they start getting complacent. That's your secret advantage. That's your edge, bro. Work harder than them and destroy your fucking competitors. So that's your constraint. Find alternatives and you will win. As long as you keep persisting, you keep showing up, you keep putting in the hard work. Even those talented guys can't fucking be you. Why? Because they're lazy, they're talented, right? The next problem that you may have, what if the constraint can't be solved right now? And this is something that me and Junta had in the past and this was fucking annoying. So the context is you have school, family obligations, work preventing you from pursuing your goals. So let's say you want to become an entrepreneur, right? You already know that you're going to die an entrepreneur. You, you fucking love this shit, right? But you have fucking school, you have fucking family obligations or simply just things that you can't avoid. Like you have to fucking go to school, especially if you're 16, you have to go out, go to fucking school. You can't fucking drop out or anything. Actually, Junta did drop out, but you, it's, you legally cannot drop out. Literally, you legally cannot drop out. And let me introduce MED. <laughs> Sounds cool. MED, aka the minimum effective dose. Literally ask yourself, what is the minimum that you have to do to not backtrack for school or whatever? You want to basically identify the priority and everything else goes into MED. An example is school. So let me give you an example. There was this one time I wanted, I knew, that's why I'm pursuing intellectualism right now because I want, I know I want to be an entrepreneur. I know I want to do this for a living. I know I want to teach people about some improvement. So at the time I had school, school was my fucking constraint. Like I fucking hated school. School was full of shit and I'll take that until my fucking grave. I don't give a fuck. These teachers coming out to me, I'll take that to my grave. School is full of shit, right? I don't know, we just went on a rant just now, went fucking dragon mode on school, but I truly just do not like school. You gotta ask Junta, we have really terrible experiences in school. Fuck that place, honestly, it's full of shit. And chances are, if you're watching this, you may share similar views as we are having, right? So, yeah, I had school and I that was a constraint because dude, I could not, I only had like two hours to work on my business. That was a serious constraint. So what I did during that time is I literally asked myself, what is the minimum I have to do to not backtrack? 
right? Most people wanted to go for A's. I didn't want of that, any of that. I wanted to, I literally asked myself, what do I need to do in order to pass? So I did the bare minimum, literally only spending like one hour a day fucking studying and rest on my business. That's literally the most you can fucking do. Because remember, no one can do it all. You can't fucking be an A-star student in school. You can't success this business. None of that. Choose one. What do you really want more? Do you want to become an entrepreneur or do you want to be a great student? You choose, right? And for me, it was to become a great entrepreneur. So I literally went all in entrepreneurship and in school, I basically maintained it. I literally just got tr- fucking C's, borderline C's and borderline D's just to not backtrack and get an F. That's pretty much about it. Concluding words and discussions. Anything, Junta? Because for me, I think this lecture is great. And... Downloadable. Really? What? Downloadable. Downloadable. That's fucking amazing. I, I love that. that for you guys, you don't understand what downloadable means is. I'm downloading this fucking lecture and I'm going to be fucking listening to it any, every day. Going to internalize this because like, this is good. I, you know, the last, we fucking did this lecture once and Jimmy was not satisfied. But now I can say this is much more chiller and much more fucking better because we're more like ourselves rather than having to, you know, you know, we were like fucking chipmunks. Yeah, <laughs> fucking chipmunks <laughs> going for the next nut. But yeah, um, this is really potent. Honestly, it's it's simple because like what Jindo used to tell me in the past, it's a great quote by Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity, simplicity, I might have butchered it, but simplicity is the ultimate sophistication because the truth is all these frameworks, this morning routine, this note-taking methods, all this stuff, all these complicated stuff that they're all bullshit. To be honest, they're all bullshit. It's usually just these simple things, just doing the hard work. This whole presentation can be simplified in two words, honestly. I mean, I don't even know how many words, but just focus on the hard work. You know, you, you and I know what you have to do, bro. Come on. You don't have to tell me, bro. You know in your heart, you know in the back of your head what you need to do. You know what you need to do. And I will sympathize with you. I will say, yes, it will. it is hard. Because I have the same problems as you. I'm human as well. I'm not going in there charging my fucking demons, like, motivated and stuff. I don't want to do it too. Sometimes I fucking look at... Dude, you can ask Junta. I literally got burnt out. Because I was just doing slides after slides after slides for four fucking days. I didn't do anything else. So I understand what... I understand when, like, you could feel like, oh, I don't want to do and stuff. But bro, you... If you want to grow rapidly, grow. If you're serious about entrepreneurship and you really want to destroy your com- competition, you have to do this because you're comp- your competitors are not doing this. I can guarantee you that. They're out there like, oh, um, let me just go optimize my sleep. Let me go and optimize this. Like, they are doing anything but the work. But you have to fucking rise above that. You have to do it. And that's my concluding words slash discussion to you. Anything else, Jinder? Because this is an advice I really hope I had in the, po- in the past. And I'm glad that if you're early in your entrepreneurship journey and you got this advice, I'm really glad for you because this is going to serve you a shit ton. Ruthless focus on that one thing. Ruthless focus, every action, every heartbeat, every thought on the constraint, and you will win. As long as you keep persisting, I promise you will win. It's just simply how it works. The universe is not is not fucking magic or anything. It's logic. If you put in this much input, you will get output. That's it. Right? Unless you're doing the wrong inputs and getting the wrong outputs. So Junta, any other concluding words, discussions, anything? In other words, what I would like to update on Jamie's words is you don't have to do this, you know. You don't. You can be just like competitors. You know. You can not do the hard work. You can optimize your sleep. You can optimize oxygen, breathing, aircon, cold exposure. I don't know. All this. You know what? Lucas wants to say all this bullshit. <laughs> BPA but, testosterone bullshit. But you know you can choose to do this, and because instead of forcing yourself like, oh, I gotta do this. No, you can. You. I mean, you can choose. You know, you can be either your competitors and or stay average forever. Or you can do this, do what we are doing, do what the other one percent is doing, do what everyone else doesn't want to do. Everyone else around you looking at just, I mean, just look around your streets. Those guys, they can't even imagine like eight, 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 eight hours lecture. <laughs> I, I, I go crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, you go crazy, but at least you're, you won't be broke, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because when you go up to these guys and you say, hey. You have to do this for it. Also, oh no no no! I, 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 yeah, balance, balance. They all fucking say the same. Balance, balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything else, everyone else is balanced. So you, you're gonna listen from them, bro. And again, like what? Let me just add on Jinder's point. You don't have to do this. You truly don't. You can click off this lecture right now and don't do it. Literally, no one's gonna point a gun towards you. It's all you, bro. So instead of seeing like, oh, I have to tell yourself I choose to do this. Why? Because I want to become the best version of myself. I am an ambitious young man. I want to achieve great things. I don't fucking care about society's norms. And I want to be great. So I am going to do this. No one's forcing me. I can go be a bitch right now, lie down, doom scroll, but I don't want to. I choose to be here. I choose to show up every day, put in the work, persist, and I choose to win. 
So update that belief instead of telling yourself, I have to, I have to. No, you choose to. You choose to be great. And that's why you're watching this right now. You could be going to watch, to watch fucking, what's that guy's name? Fucking, I don't know what the fucking, what the, uh, I don't know, fucking seven tips or whatever. What's that guy's name? Huh? That guy, Matt Davila or some bullshit. You can go watch some entertaining content like that. Some improvement, all this entertaining bullshit. But you're here watching a low dopamine. I'm not even going to edit this video. You should be proud of yourself because you're choosing to make this decision right now. So stop telling you have to. You choose to. You choose to be here. Otherwise, you will not be watching until this point. I promise you that. You're an exception and you're an ambitious young man. Don't let the world fucking drag you down. They're all fucking average. So why listen to them? Right? Why not listen to actually exceptional people or people that want to be exceptional like us? Your choice, bro. Honestly. You thought that was all? You thought that I was done giving you all that shit? You're like, oh, this is fucking amazing. No. There's more. I've included a checklist. A checklist of everything covered and ensuring that you apply everything. So you don't have to constantly watch this all the time every six months. Just check out the checklist. It has all, everything practical of this whole lecture. You don't have to come back here anymore. Why? Because I actually give a shit about you. I'm not those YouTubers fucking trying to get more ad revenue or whatever. Bro, there's no ad revenue here. I'm not even going to put this onto YouTube. Maybe. <laughs> Basically, cheat sheets of all the drawings for quick references. You see all the drawings that I've drawn? They're actually for a reason. It's not to make it look pretty or whatever. It's so that you can just look at it and kind of like recall. Train your mind to look at that. Like, oh, I remember what Jamie said about this. For quick reference and so much more. Just check it down below and you'll see what I mean. I like to end this by saying I've given you everything. Like what Hermosi said at the end of his book launch. I truly look up to the guy and that's why it's one of our mission in intellectualism as well as to give first. And I've given you everything. Everything, all, everything that I've learned in that two year duration, four years of my fucking experience, eight years combined with Junta because Junta helped me with this as well. We've given you everything. We have nothing to sell you. I mean, we actually have, I mean, we, and I, we have nothing to hide. Tia Dia, I'm so sorry I said that, but we have to eat as well, right? We have to eat. Come on, bro. Please. You know, we're human as well. We're not fucking Mars or whatever, bro. We're humans. And I've given you everything and I hope in the process you've trust, trusted me, right? That's all I ask for. I don't ask for much. But I've given you everything. Actually, I don't even ask for your trust. You decide if you want to trust me. Honestly, you decide. It's your choice. But I've given you everything I could possibly think of. Checklist, everything. I've given it all. I've given away all the secrets, leaving nothing behind. All right, boys, what you've watched earlier was essentially a module from one of our courses inside of our coaching package. And if you're just wondering what exactly is this coaching package, it's essentially the name of it is literally make the greatest comeback of your life in 90 days. So what this means is this entire program will be 90 days where we really just transform you from this guy just stuck in this rut, right? Imagine this is you right now. You literally fucking fapping every day. You're trying to be consistent, but you just keep finding yourself going back to that rut, right? You're productive for like one week and you drop back down and you end up in the same fucking place. We're targeting that person. If that sounds like you, you're really going to love this coaching package. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Transforming your life in 90 days. And we're just going to make a quick announcement. And that is we're only accepting three customers. After that, the doors close. That means we will only accept three customers and we're not going to let anyone else join. And the reason why we do this is because we really want to maximize the quality for you. We're not, we're not here to fucking make our pockets huge or any of that bullshit. We're here to serve you and give you the greatest value, right? We can serve more customers. We can be those guys trying to scale to $10,000 or $1 million a month or some bullshit like that with their private communities. Fuck that shit. I know that private communities are just not as good as coaching. As I mentioned in countless of videos, mentorship is the best fucking way. It's because you're getting one-on-one -on -one access. In this case, you're getting two-on-one on one fucking access. You're getting me and Junta. We're both going to be there just coaching you for three months for you to make the greatest comeback. We're going to be giving you eight years worth of experience for 90 days. And I promise you by the end of the 90 days, you will come back into society as a new man. Your friends will literally look at you. Your girlfriend, if you even have one, will be looking at you differently. They'll be like, what the fuck happened to this guy? He used to be a fucking stuck up, a loser. If you found extreme value from our channel already, bro, you have no idea. In this entire package, we've given you everything. And if that doesn't excite you, just keep listening because we're giving you we're giving you much more. So 
just to really give a thank you for our first three customers, you know, for really trusting us. If you really found extreme value and you're like, yep, this is really going to be my thing. We want to really thank those first three customers. The first three, not anyone else after that, because the first three customers will receive exclusive bonuses crafted exclu exclusively <laughs> for you and unavailable to the rest of the world. I just stumbled over my words because I'm just so fucking excited to teach you guys this, right? So what this means is those three first three customers will receive bonuses that will not be released anywhere else. So in the future, if we do make a private community, for whatever reason, we think that private communities are better in the future, which I don't think so, we will not release any of this. You know, unlike other YouTubers where they, you know, they start off with a course and then they put everything in the fucking private community. We're not going to do that. For our first three customers, you will, you will only get this. You will never find this on YouTube anywhere else unless someone decides to pirate it and put it in like Google Drive or some shit. Then, then yeah, that's not, that's not on me because I'm not doing that. That's like people, right? But truly, we do this to really just thank you guys. Thank the first three customers for really just believing in us. So this, really take this as our gift to you, even though you're already getting like a shit ton of value. This is just a little nice cherry on top to really just say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And Junta was actually convincing me, like, are you sure you want to do this? What if in the future we change our minds after that? But I was really fighting for this. I was like, no, I really want to thank those first three customers because think about it. They are the first three that believe into us. It's not like those customers after that when they hear all the reviews, like, oh my goodness, this shit really changed my life. I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about the day ones, which is you guys, the first three customers. And that's really our gift to you. They will not be found on YouTube, within future products, or anywhere beyond our personalized coaching package. I can give you my word. Screenshot, video record this. I promise you, you will not find this anywhere else unless it's this program. If in the future, I decide to get rid of this entire get rid of uh, what make the greatest comeback of your life in 90 days if i decide to get rid of it the course goes away with it as well i will not give it to anyone else in the future i give you my fucking word so Chunda, can you please tell the customers the bonuses that we'll be receiving those first three customers you guys what you guys will be receiving when you sign up and become our first three customers what you guys will be receiving the first thing this is honestly what really flip the switch for productivity. This is how we became productive guards. This, right now, you probably are a mess. You probably take like, I don't fucking know, 10 hours trying to find out what do I do next? What, where's my task? Why is my task says, call mom? What am I supposed to call my mom about? This is based on the most powerful productivity system in this entire universe. You will not find something as powerful as this. And this Boost productivity by 1000% is not an, un it, I mean, it is an understatement, not, it's not an understatement. I can that vouch that. Uh, just to add on to Jinta's point, I can honestly vouch for that. Even looking at this, 10,000 looks fucking, I mean, yeah, 10,000 even looks fucking pathetic. 10,000 boosts your productivity by 10,000% literally looks pathetic. Right? It will be even an understatement for it to be a million because this shit is fucking powerful, I can promise you guys. We've tried a billion tactics. You have to keep in mind, we've been on this self improvement space for nearly eight years now. We've been trying like a billion fucking tactics, right? All this five-second morning routine, all this fucking nonsense, three-hour meditation. We've tried a lot of shit. But what really stood the test of time, what really sticked with us until today and for many years to come is this, is this fucking system. So this is extremely potent and we're giving it to you, those first three customers. I promise we will not give this to anyone else. I can give you my fucking word. But Junta, please continue. And four times a month. We only actually usually only do two times a month. But for you guys only, for you guys who are actually going to feed us the first time, we're going to give you double of that. We're going to give you double of that because we sincerely, we appreciate you for allowing us you know, putting that trust into us that, you know, to allow us to change your life. So the next thing is the focus toolkit. This is something that I rely on every fucking day because I wake up feeling like garbage. I wake up seeing like, you can go to YouTube. If this is on YouTube, right? You can go to the settings, go click 144p. That's literally me every day when I wake up. I'm like, holy shit. When did Minecraft look like this? Huh? And I'm like, fuck. And I using the focus toolkit that I use every single day, I literally go from SD to HD in an instant in the morning, which allows me to actually work. Last time when I'm sleep deprived, oh, by the way, it still works if you're sleep deprived, not recommending to sleep deprive yourself, but it still works if you're sleep deprived. And the last thing, I'll let Jamie to explain the test room toolkit, feel great as a man. But essentially, just to elaborate further on this point, 
this focus toolkit literally works even if you're sleep deprived. And I understand you don't want to be sleep deprived. You want to get 10 hours of sleep. But the truth is life hits you with a curveball. Sometimes you have to go out to drink with your friends, you know, fucking party or whatever. I mean, I'm not condoning party, but sometimes you have to go celebrate someone's birthday party or something like that. So this toolkit is honestly there because there'll be, there'll be times where we literally wake up after like four hours of sleep. And I had to rely on this to literally get my body functioning and it really fucking works. So to put this value at $299, honestly, kind of an understatement, bro. Like this is crazy, honestly. And let me just explain further what this means by the testosterone toolkit. Feel great as a man. So I was basically in this self-improvement space on masculinity for like a while now. You can ask Junta. I've been watching a shit ton of testosterone videos. I was literally nerding out about it. Like, oh, I, we can't have BPA guys, you know, all this fucking nonsense. And truly, I've scraped the entire fucking world. I've read a shit ton of books. Everything. Eight years worth of fucking knowledge on testosterone. All into this entire toolkit just for you. And the reason why we're pricing it at $97 is because I have to be honest. I'm not that experienced, right? I'm not a fucking guy that's 30 years old. And yeah, that's why I'm pricing it at $97 is because based on my experience and I'm being extremely realistic. If I put it there like, oh, the testosterone toolkit is actually worth like $499. It's like, it's like really? It's definitely not worth $499. Based on my experience and based on the value I've get, give it, gotten, this is worth $97. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really nervous and I'm just extremely excited. But anyways, the total of this is literally like you can literally see all the value here you're getting $1,494 worth of value for absolutely free for those first three customers for free you don't have to pay shit for it it's going to be free just for you guys and this is honestly a huge thank you for you guys right we are really appreciating those guys that are just really trusting us when there's like literally nothing out there right you're our first three customers no one else has ever gotten into this package other than you guys so i really appreciate you guys for being here and this is honestly our gift to you our promise Junta. Please tell them our promise. Anytime, at any time, if you're not willing to get hit by a truck for our services, we're going to track your ass down. We're going to sneak into your bedroom and we're going to transform your s size pants into an l size pants. Yeah, we're literally going to fucking with a sniper on the roof like, oh shit, this guy's going into his house. And once you leave your fucking house, we're going to sneak in there like a ninja and transform your pants from S. You know, you're wearing S, it's going to be L when you come back. And what this means is, at any time, if you're not satisfied with our services, right? For example, you're waking up one day, you just wake up at the wrong side of the bed and for whatever reason, you're just like, yeah, fuck this coaching package. I want to go back to fapping forever or whatever you may think. You know, I don't know. Some people may be that way, you know. You can let us know. You can tell us at any time. It could literally be on the last fucking day. You can be like, I don't, I don't fucking like this. I don't fucking like this. And we'll refund you your money. Right. And of course, there are terms and conditions. You can view them at our website. That's the first link in the description below. Go click on it to figure out what the exact promises is. But essentially, we're doing this is because we're confident. We're honestly very confident that you will not say this. I promise you, you will not say this. Yeah. There's no one in this fucking space that's going to be doing this. They're all about, oh, all sales are final. All sales are final because they're fucking scared, bro. I'm not fucking scared. You can see I'm fucking chilling, right? If any time you're like, oh, bro, this fucking sucks, I'll give you your money back, bro. No worries. I'm not fearing anything because I really believe in my fucking product. There's not many people like that. And I truly, we truly put our soul into this entire yeah. coaching package. Really our entire fucking soul. If you found our channel extremely valuable, you're really commenting. I see you guys down below. Club love, shout out to you. Those guys just down below, really just like, yo, you guys are giving me value. Bro, I promise you, our coaching package is literally 10 times better. The results literally speak for themselves. So look at the fucking date down below. When was the last time you fucking uploaded I, mean, I don't even fucking know when was the last time you uploaded, like a month ago, two months ago. I don't fucking know, more than a month maybe. Yeah. And the reason why we've been doing that is because we've been just going all in. You know, we always talk about all in, you know, monk mode, focusing on the country, which is literally what you've just seen. All in, we've really given our all for this entire package. So I promise you, bro, you will not say, oh, well, I don't want like this. I want to go to someone else's, you know, I want to go to the competitors, you know, private community. I promise you will not say that. I promise. And of course, there's so much more. And honestly, you have no idea, bro. We locked ourselves up for fucking two weeks. You know, that was the toughest two weeks of our life. There was actually another tougher four weeks, but we're not talking yeah. about that, right? We locked ourselves up for two fucking weeks to make sure this is built perfectly for you, right? Every fucking day, we're literally thinking of our mind. How do we serve you? We put you first, bro. We put you first before our fucking pockets, right? Because we're like those fucking gurus out there trying to sell you a $500 cost, which is just full of shit. No. And that's why we've literally given you all these guarantees, We've literally just accepted three customers is because we don't want to fucking destroy the quality. We want you guys to really be happy and get results. And I promise you, you will not say this is trash or whatever because this shit works, right? If you've seen our fucking channel already and you love the shit that you see, this shit is going to make you fucking explode. You're going to be like, holy fucking shit. 
I should have fucking joined this at the beginning. Why was I procrastinating, right? Game plan and bonuses below, right? Just to end this fucking thing off, click the first link in the description below right now to book a call to see if you're a great fit. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to filter it even further. I want you to book that call so that we can get in there and really figure out if this is right for you. Honestly, if you're in the call and we're asking you questions and you're just like giving us answers that we don't like, we're like, yeah, this guy's not a fit. We're going to say no. Really, if you think that it's so easy to become the first three customers, it's not that easy. You have to pass through another fucking test. We we're going to really filter heavily. It's because we really want to serve those three customers the best we can. Who's fucking doing this? All you have to do when you join like a fucking private community or whatever is just answer the fucking dumbass question you're in. None of that. If you're in the call, if it's looking face to face, and I honestly talk with Junta, I'm like, yeah, this guy, he doesn't seem like committed. He doesn't have the fire. He's not, he's not someone that we can really help. You know, for example, you may be struggling with other problems and we just feel like we can't help you. We're going to politely tell you like, hey, dude, I don't think this is going to work. You know, we don't want you to waste your money. So this is not going to work, bro. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're going to pay me and you're going to say like, oh, guys, please take my money. I really need help. If we can't help you, there's no fucking point, bro. I'm telling you the truth. So click the first link in the description below right now. Don't fucking procrastinate. Click the first link in the description below right now and take fucking action. And I'll see you there. See you, boys.